Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we do have the newest Atari Yay! games. We have a new game by VHZC for the 7800 Ooh. called Tunnels of Hyper. Hyperion. Oh, that sounds so very exciting. So it's an exciting. exclusive world premiere of his <laughs> new game. Nice. And I remember uh, we were talking about, oh, we went on break and BHZC must have <laughs> must have made a game in the in the meantime while we were on break a couple weeks ago. And, and lo yes, and behold, he ding, did. BHZC says, hey, I've got a new game. Um, we also are going to be playing Captain <laughs> Comic by 2600 and nice. Alpha Race by SIO2. Nice. Are those newer games, or are they games that have been around? Uh, Captain Comic is from 2020, okay. Alpha Race from 2015, so okay. yeah, digging a bit in, into games we have never played. Into the back I, catalog, I, yeah. Whenever I find one that I, we haven't played, yeah. um, I add it to a list, and then um, and then I dig it up yeah. when I need to get some games into the uh, lineup. Yeah, you can't see him, but there's a very vicious black cat right now. Oh, he's who's just in a, who's in a fighting mood, it seems. <laughs> Are you in a fighting mood? Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for help supporting the show and getting their names scrolling beside Tanya. Mm -hmm. Aldefar, Arena Foot, Arkham H7, Armscar, Coder, Atari Age, Atari 1974, Atari Patch Quest, BR Polka, Buck, Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Charles and Chuck, Charles Whelan, Colonel Amadeanoid, Dan, if you see Dr. Bukas, Go for Man, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, and Vader, KV88, Laurent DZ, Mark Anandis, Mark Space, Inc., Middle Atari, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike, uh, Mike Littell, Mr. Zarner, Mr. Fix, no, Nathan Strom, Nostalgic Pack Rat, VG, Kohog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Spice, Ras Ramirez, The D Train, The Lost Cartridge, The Welsh Man, 89, Thrust 26, Tiki Dan K, Team Events, Trek MD, 2600, and X Ken X. Mm. If you want your name there, just hit subscribe. Mm -hmm. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free without it. We do have a poll question today. It is... I don't know if I've asked this before, mm -hmm. but it's not on the list of questions of before it reset the okay. list, unfortunately. Well, then you're getting an updated... Uh, updated poll. question. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've asked this. Um, so some new joystick companies are giving the option of left and right-handed joysticks, mm -hmm. um, like, um, retro game boys. They, they offer left and right. Yeah. Some of the ones on the Atari age forums, uh, offer left and right options. Okay. So that you can have the joystick on the left or the joystick on the right. Uh, games and arcades usually have the joystick on the left, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes there's buttons on both sides, so you can do it either way. Yeah. Yes, there is something up with my voice. Um, <laughs> you haven't been watching, I guess, the last couple episodes. Uh, we both had COVID. Yes. So <clears throat> Unfortunately. <laughs> we're at 95%. Yeah, we're pretty much over it. No voice, major symptoms. A little bit of congestion. The left, voices give all. it away, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so number one, uh, joystick on the left. Number two, joystick on the right. Mm -hmm. Three, either side. Maybe you're ambidextrous. I go with uh, joystick on the left. I think I do, too. I think that's just from playing in the arcades. Most of them were on the left. I don't know if... I, I think, uh, I think, yeah, like, I think I'm just, that would be my normal inclination is on the left. I yeah. haven't played much with the right. Maybe I would like it more. I don't know, but <laughs> I, I think that's what I'm, I would choose I, I as force well. you to be on the left. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. So if I gave you, like, an ambidextrous joystick, like an original 2600 joystick. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's okay, see. okay. I, I, I think on the left would be my inclination. Actually, here's a 7800 joystick, okay. which is ambidextrous. Um, oh, see, those ones hurt my hands, so I keep going matter, back and play. forth. But I keep going, I, I, I will flip it up if it's bugging Yeah, but you went right first. Help holding it with the left and using my right? Yeah. yeah. Joystick think, in your right hand. Yeah, but if you're, if you're hitting arcade buttons... It'll be in your left. Yeah, yeah. so it kind of depends... <laughs> I think I have more control with my right hand, but often you the buttons are on the right. This guy are fighty. He's in a he's in a mood. You he's go going to attack floor. the gray cat in a second. <laughs> it's it's misplaced aggression. What are you up to? What Ivory Tower you? says oh I'm right-handed, but prefer the joystick controllers have it on the left with buttons on the right. Like you said, it's what I'm used to with arcade games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. 
I, I don't know. I'm left-handed. Yeah. Tanya's right-handed. Yes. Um, but if you're forced to do it in a certain way, you kind of get used to it. I think I that's true. You just adapt to whatever. Stop it. If you're not given a choice, you'll just, you know, if it's yeah. on the left and the buttons are on the right, you'll you just, just do it. You just do it. Yeah. I, I think I, I would prefer to control the joystick with my right hand. Yeah. Because I have more control. And I, I am happy with the left because I have more control with my left hand, more dexterous. Yeah. Yeah. If I want power, it's my right. If I want dexterity, it's my left. Yeah. So buttons over and over again is fine on my right. But you sure. said with a lot of, like, when you were a kid and playing sports, you were still sort of right-handed in, yeah, in right sports. Yeah, right-handed. So it's obviously not... That's power. That is power, but it's right. not everything. Like, it kind of does depend on what yeah, you're Yeah, and doing. some people would call that ambidextrous. Yeah. Because Just... you're not strictly one for everything. If you can... To me, you're ambidextrous... It, to me, you're ambidextrous if you can easily flip back and forth. That's how I but term if, it, too. But if you favor a side, even if you go back and forth, if you always favor your right playing baseball, I don't know if I would call you ambidextrous. I wouldn't. No. 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 Anyway. It, it's, <laughs> it's interesting, and I think... Yeah. But I, I tend to always favor my right side. Um, and my right hand. Yeah, mo most likely. <laughs> um, one of the lights is not working, the overhead oh, light. Oh, yeah, I noticed it that. It doesn't... Seem to affect too much. Us. No, just less light on the top. Oh no. Um, yeah, the the power brick, the the oh. power supply is not lighting up. Did so it, did it get fried? I'm gonna, I guess so. Should so you I'm buy a little to... black cat, maybe? I don't know. Naughty, one of those cats. Right. Well, actually, probably the gray cat. He likes yeah. the cords. <laughs> the black cat chews on the a Velcro. Oh yes, yeah. And the gray cat chews on just cables. It's cables, which is yeah. very bad. Very bad. <laughs> um, so let's open some mail. Bad kitties is correct. Very... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dramatic shadowing. Yeah. yeah. A little bit. It's not too bad, luckily. Yeah, um, I, I I do have to say the, the older you get, the light. less dramatic shadowing you want on your face. <laughs> yes. It's kind of the sure. rule. I know what this is, and I thought it, I got it last episode. Did I just cut that? No. It's okay. It's just the bag. Um, so this is what I thought... <laughs> It was. was. I was going to get last episode. <laughs> it's the uh, Commodore Video Out uh, cable? cable. Nice. And this has um, a resistor in it, which is supposed to give clearer picture for the S video. Okay. Um, so next time we play the Commodore 64, hopefully I'll have some time to upgrade the chip that I got last episode. Okay. And we'll be using this. So both of them combined should be a very nice. clean picture without the jail bars nice. on it. So. Um, and this came from what? 8-Bit Classics. There you go. Very nice. Oh, today is Atari 7800 <clears throat> day. Let's put that Yay. back up. Yay! Got thrust uh, plus in the mail today. My driving controller will be happy to leave the controller drawer. Yes, thrust plus with the uh, uh, driving controller is oh, excellent. Yeah? So what does that do? Is it more control? Um, yeah, it it gives you uh, more control over the direction okay. rather than it. I think the other control is joystick and you just hold it to turn. Okay. But this you can rotate slowly or fast oh, to cool. turn your ship. It's it's really good. And I forgot last episode that I got this from my friend. It is. The Super Video Arcade, Yay. which is the Sears version. version, Sears Telegame version of the Intellivision. Nice. I haven't actually even opened it up yet. I don't know if I've... Have I seen... Is that the color of it? Yes, it's very I different. I've seen that. Yeah, that does look very different. So let's take a look at this. I don't know how much packaging is in here, whether it's just kind of loose, because a lot of people throw away the styrofoam. Yeah. And then it's kind of just loose in the box, but this, this is his was This childhood. was actually, yeah, a friend's childhood gaming system. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. So yeah, he, he, yeah so no foam. Wrapped, it is wrapped up in bubble wrap, which helps a bit, but when you don't keep the... Um, the foam. Thick, oh, sorry, I was going to When you don't it keep the foam, yeah. foam uh, you get box crush. <laughs> so yeah, it's not too bad, actually. A little crush. I've seen far worse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not... Hey! Can you stop it? I'm not big on boxes. <laughs> um, I'd rather not have boxes, if possible, because they just take up room, and I don't really care about yeah. it. I, so it's got this terrible switch, of course. Um, but that's what came with them originally, so you could switch back and forth. It interrupts the antenna um, input. 
Gotcha. Um, but nope. a lot of... <laughs> nope. Nope. You're a bad cat. TVs don't use antenna, that antenna connector, for uh, input anymore. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, so, okay. I don't think I've seen this version. I have, ne I have never seen it up close, this version before. Usually they're wood grain, right? Yeah, it's the one that... That's uh, nice. This one over there, but yeah, they're oh. usually wood grain. Um, I'm not as aware as... as the bonus be. about yeah. this system... A lot of cables. Nice. Is that the controllers? You guys can't see this. <laughs> uh, the controllers. Do you want to switch to the cat cam? Um, I will in a Well, it's big enough. You don't need to. Okay. Um, that the controllers detach. Oh the really? Ones that were put out by uh, Mattel. No, no. Oh, this um, is have the controllers built in. So this might be a good candidate for upgrading later because there's some aftermarket controllers coming out. Oh, um, that you could just plug in. Yeah. Wow. Um, I like that. That's, that's I've, really I've nice. been bugging a couple people to make joystick style in television controllers. Okay. Including retro Game Boys. Um, but they seem to be uh, difficult to make for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, they Intelligent has 16 directional 16 direction joysticks, which there aren't readily available 16 direction joysticks. And I think that's the stumbling block. Um, I don't know how many games use the 16 directions, but just swap the main board from the other one and you have RGB in place. Oh, oh really? The main boards are exactly the same that they use? Hmm. <laughs> Very tempting. Yeah, that is Like tempting. it's exactly the same size. Hmm. Ooh. Well, that is good information. Yeah. Um, but what about the joystick connectors? Because the other ones are built in and these are on, but if the board's the same, it's just the connectors it's just, internally. It's just that there's a ah. kitten. He's out of control today. He's out of control. He wants treats. <laughs> <laughs> and de demanding them in the worst way. I do nice. like this. I, no, I really later. like this yeah. uh, form factor. Um, but I do like the wood paneling as well, the original. That's, no, that's but that, nice. I, I, I'm, I'm quite enamored with the beige. I'm not, never been a huge <laughs> wood paneling person. Uh, oh, look and, at the and that one does have a bells. tiny bit of that on there. Yum, oh yum, my yum, god. Yum. That's loud in the studio here. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, Metal Looter. Metal Looter. <laughs> They're very excited about this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so let's go to the cat cam. Yeah. Boom. Meow, meow, meow. Ding, ding, ding. Mm, wood paneling is a 2600 things anyway, that's right. Yeah. I, I've seen pictures of that form of Intellivision, um, but I've never seen it in person. I think it's a lot less common uh, mm. than the other branding of it. Yeah. Have to get rid of 56,000 points in one month. <laughs> Thrust. Wow. You're going to be feeding the cats. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people reporting, yeah. I'm out of bits. Yeah. So they're putting some English on their meowing. Meow. <laughs> meow. Meow. No, it's for him. No, it's for him. There you go. Should have done that while uh, opening up the mail. I have only visual things. Ooh, oh, catnip too. Oh, that Okay, make... well, we'll do the treats first. And we'll put the catnip <laughs> down once they've had their yes. treats. They'll be too, too, too um, distracted right now. You can't use the points after the sub reds out? I'm, I don't know. Oh, interesting. Do you lose them? No, I don't think you lose I don't know points. too much about no. that, yeah. There you Thank go. you, Neo Media. <laughs> yeah. I have 132,000 wow. bits. Wow. Well, I'll infer that just shows how okay. much how much Twitch watching you do. Yes. There's oh, my three. God. Did he hit it? Did you hit it? Are you a little derpy right now? <laughs> He's got a little derp going on there. A little go derpy ahead. face. Do oh. it. Hit it again. Good kitty. Points are independent of being subbed. Well, that's okay, good. well, that that's is very good. good. So you don't have to be subbed. It took five minutes. Uh, uh, is there any. Oh, I can talk about this. I've had a weird issue with my 7800 uh, while I was doing some game testing. <laughs> uh, that all of a sudden the, the, the uh, fire button stops working. Oh. And it just doesn't fire. And then I have to unplug it and plug it back in. Mm. And then it starts working again. That seems like a hardware thing, 
Um, I yeah. don't know if anybody has experienced that before. It might just be my cables that uh, one of the pins is not quite long enough. So I might look at that first, but if anybody else has heard of that. Okay. But I don't have to reboot the system. I don't have to do anything. I just have to unplug it and plug it back in. Uh, the TIA, really? Oh, that's a lot. Um, really, the TIA will do that and it'll reset when you plug it back in? That seems really strange behavior. That, uh, is it like build up charge or something? Black cat get, can't get. Oh, I don't cat. know if there's anything. Oh, it is under. Oh, thank oh, you, shrapnel. Well, thank you. Shrapnel. I thought. I thought he just thought there was another one there. I didn't realize he actually had it underneath. Oh well. Oh, now he thinks there's one there. <laughs> he ate the one that was there. He's oh, like, oh, no. this this provides treats. <laughs> For, I'm gonna keep this going is a back treat here. Treat dispenser. It's <laughs> yeah. A, like a Pez dispenser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Cats are crazy like that. They'll yeah. see like a um, a bug in a corner and they'll just keep going back and years. staring in the corner for, for years. years. It's yeah. like that's where the bugs come from. <laughs> like no, that's where I, one bug was two years yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly. He's doing that for the rest of his life. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He's just like really. Look. Can I show you? Look. Nothing. Look. No, don't look at me. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a silly cat. Okay. Yeah. Let's get on to the news. <laughs> um, oh my god, he's at it again. Yeah. As soon as I lift the chair, he won't. So, so uh, we will flip Jesus. back. Uh, Atari's eating his catnip right now. He'll we'll see if the black soon. cat starts uh, uh, so, paying attention. Uh, so, Atari posted this a couple days ago um, about the hokey and the concerto um so he's talking about uh compatibility stop it doesn't dispense treats if you lift it in the air <laughs> yeah, yes, he's thinking that. exactly uh he says for original retail 7800 games i believe it's essentially 100 now he's talking about the concerto as far as i know all the games work with the latest firmware uh for getting any games let me know so note there are a few games maybe two or three that currently need a patched version to work on the current firmware but that will be fixed in the upcoming firmware release some of the reported issues that are are that a proper manual psst, psst, for the concerto hasn't been finished as you stated the firmware is still a work in progress the reason i did put together a couple new firmware builds and the new builds will be released periodically until i'm satisfied enough to call it version one so some new builds are coming not all modern homebrew games will work Though, as much of this is fixable in firmware, there's at least a one advanced game that will not work without some sort of hardware upgrade, which is something I'm working on. And in terms of the Hokey side, Hokey is already rocking it on some homebrew game releases. Nice. So it's already in some of the newer game releases. Oh, roly poly. Let's see if I can get that. Oh, he's not rolling yet. Yeah. I'll wait till he rolls. Uh, is already rocking on some homebrew game releases. I think it's pretty much ready, but as a standalone product, the main issue with releasing Hokey is the current system I have for Harmony and Concerto orders is not super efficient. <clears throat> it can't really handle the initial volume I expect from individual Hokey sales. Most likely, I will debut Hokey at PRGE instead. So mm. if you want to buy some Hokies, that's where uh, you'll need to buy them. So that people will just grab one or more more <laughs> at the Atari Age booth and save the online release for after PRGE. That should reduce the initial volume a little. And oh, is he eating it? He's eating it. He is. Oh, this is the first time he's like really, really gone shown after shown an it. interest in it. Yeah. Last time he was kind of playing with, <laughs> more like playing with the lid. Actually, yeah. I don't know if he's eating. We'll it. We'll see it if if it affects him. It oh, hasn't really. Eating it. Yeah. Uh, this should reduce the initial volume and save me. Uh, and others that attend PRG the trouble and expensive shipping. I wonder what the price will be on the Hokies. He in the past has said ten dollars. Ten dollars seems very ten dollars is very reasonable. Yeah, fifteen would be reasonable as well. Yeah. So I'm guess it probably won't go more than fifteen if he's already said Hopefully ten. Hopefully not. Yeah. Um, because things have gotten more expensive just in general. Um, programming is so much more determined than hardware development. Mm. Uh, I'd be sure grabbing a few ivory tower collections. I'm, I'm guessing yes. Uh, entering the rebellious teenage stage, you're in trouble now. Yeah, yeah. Well, look what he was doing on the couch, oh. attacking. Well, you know, you can see him because it was blocked. He was, but we us. were moving our hands, and he was just attacking our hands as they were coming. He's, he's, he's in a re rebellious he teenager. Is that teenager actually time is, now. is yeah, about right. That's about right. Yeah, he's not <laughs> sweet anymore. He's like, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my real mom, dad. <laughs> it's like, no, we're not cats. No. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Can't reason with him. <laughs> uh, I saw this posted in on the Facebook uh, the other day, and mm. I haven't seen too many of these. <clears throat> uh, it's called TAS, which is um, tool assisted speed runs. Mm. So these aren't played by humans, these are played by computer. Mm. Um, but helped with a human mm. to make the perfect run, like to minimize the amount of time spent playing the so game to get it as quick as the possible. The computer says this is the fastest way to do it, and then the human learns and tries to do it to, to do the speed run. Is that kind that of the does, idea? It does help it's, people do speed runs, yes. It, feels like cheating to me, but... It's not the computer learning how to do it. No, 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 no. It's, it's like... You input things and then kind of clean them up as it goes, and you're like, oh, move down, and it knows to move down for two seconds, gotcha. move right for two seconds, kind of like that. It's not machine learning, then. No, it's, no, yeah, that's okay. something very different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it buzzing? is... Buzzing sound in the background? Is there buzzing? Oh, no. I don't... We don't hear anything, so... Well, because we don't listen to the microphone. No, no, it's no. It's always but... either this part... Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shh. Quiet. Is that better? Okay, cat, you gotta move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, someone said. It's yes. better? Oh. It was that. Okay. It usually is that. I have no idea. No, what Carl like. G says, what? Still buzzy. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Maybe it was for a brief moment. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's definitely that. So, oh, is it better sick. now? We've had this. It's still. You can tell it's still buzzy. That was it? Are we good now, everyone? It looks lower. Does it? Yeah. I mean, there is a minimum. Mm. It's been okay for half a second. Not when we unplug it. <laughs> when, yeah. Like when we're back and talking. Is it still buzzing? say buzzing or not buzzing yeah it's less loud <laughs> okay. but still audible okay cat get, get get go over there i'm, I'm gonna put that away chairs enough okay i'm gonna unplug the microphone this may be very bad <laughs> check uh yeah oh that looks way lower that now. looks better Hopefully it's better now. Anyway, you can watch this. Good now, so Yay! Okay, so this is played by a computer. And watch the movements. They are just skirting... Skirting the edge on every move, right? Yeah, around the that trees. That one went too far around the tree, though. Did it? Yeah, so it, it looks like it... Like, if you look... Um, when he went around the tree, he went way too far around the tree. But it doesn't matter because you can move left and right, and as long as you're moving straight down, mm. it won't slow you down left and right. Thank you for letting us know. No buzzing now. Yeah. <clears throat> so th this tool assisted speedrun is playing the four, first four levels. Mm. They didn't. They didn't do a full game, but um, you can watch it. Just maneuver its way perfectly around the dogs. It never and gets the chair. caught. Never gets caught. Yeah. Doesn't really Katie. need to get the cat, but uh, gets the cat anyway. Yeah. Perfect pixel, perfect straight line. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But you don't see many. I've never seen a homebrew tool assisted speed run. Yeah. I might have seen 2600 speed runs, but. Usually they're for like NES and modern, mm -hmm. more modern stuff. Um, and they are used to help people figure out the best and fastest ways to uh, get to the end of the game. Like you can see them being done on like Super Mario Brothers, let's say. Yes. That's, that's yeah. a very famous example of using one. Those poodles in 20 pixels, that was pixel art. Yeah. Yes. Poodles. So that's it. That's the, that is the speed run. I just thought it was very interesting mm. that uh, they would pick um, 
<clears throat> the game. Yeah. Uh, doggone it to do the speed run. Um, the next news story is boom, boom. This I ran across on Facebook by Adria Silva Capaleo. Capaleo, a very nice plus card duo mm. uh, enclosure. That is nice. It's got uh, a nice with handle. A, with a handle. I like that. And uh, check out nice also blue. the box for it, oh. too. I, <clears throat> this looks repurposed, this box. Yeah. Like, I, like they wouldn't print. Like, that's, that's definitely 3D printed, this box. Yeah. You can see on the lower corners there uh, some... some dents there not injection um, but I'm, yeah not injection yeah. molded no uh that's very expensive yes uh very nice box i don't know what it's from it's clear on the front and it opens up but it's also oh, the wow. same uh same kind of blue color it's got stuff on the inside that's like that's really really nice uh some information about the plus cart uh there it is in a machine very nice there it is out again i think we're looping around yeah, the plus cart. Well, Al Nefer's here. He can tell you all about it. But <laughs> duo is with the SD card. So plus cart duo is kind of the evolution of the plus cart and the Uno cart together. So you get the Wi-Fi of oh. the plus cart, but you can also put an SD card in it. Oh, nice. So okay. it's it's like the ultimate plus cart Uno cart combo. Nice. And I reached out to the person <clears throat> yeah. who made this and asked him are you like making these yeah. are you selling these because i think these would sell like crazy yeah. because they look so good they would do very well um but he has not uh responded back yet okay. about that okay but he did set up a web page just for it that's cool um like this is all that's on this not what a web page but a facebook page mm. power on uh and he's in brazil and that's that's the only well there's some more pictures actually uh, this is the only thing he's posted on it, is the Plus Cart Duo. Very cool. And he's got his symbol on it. So maybe... Yeah. Oh, also, this lights up. Oh, no. To show really? you that it's on. See? <clears throat> that's, that's off. Oh, that is so on. cute. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really, really nice. Mm. Uh, no CDFJ compatibility, I don't think yet. Or um, um, what's the other one? Yeah, the uh, the other one that it was used in Pitfall, um, DPC Plus mm -hmm. as well. It doesn't have DPC Plus. I think it has DPC compatibility, so you can play Pitfall. But uh, yeah, DPC Plus. Thank you. But this looks really, really good. I'm still trying to figure out what this is from. <laughs> <laughs> so if he does make lots of them, I don't think this is going to be part of it, unless mm -hmm. somehow we run across a big palette of them um, that he can uh, repurpose. But looks really cool, and hopefully he's going to be selling them because I think these will uh, sell really well. So you can see Wi-Fi Plus SD card. Um, okay, the next one is uh, nothing. That's the end of the news, <laughs> the I think. The news portion. Let me just make sure. Yep, that's it. Oh, I got you. So it Yay. is time. Neo Media says, so what does this cart do? It sounds like everything the Plus cart does. Yeah, everything the Plus cart does and everything the uh, Uno cart does. Mm -hmm. So you can see them here. There's the Plus cart. Oh, let's go back to normal. Uh, this is the Plus cart. This is the Uno cart. They had a baby and uh, <laughs> made, the, made plus the Plus cart, cart plus duo. So the Plus cart has Wi-Fi in it. Uh, which can connect to uh, online resources, high scores, um, places where you can stream or download games, uh, homebrew and classic games to play mm -hmm. on your 2600. You can chat with other people through this. Uh, I think that's hilarious. Which is super cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can transfer your games to this as well over wi-fi mm -hmm. um yeah it uh and it plays all the games as well all the old games and new games and uh there's some very cool things coming up about this we're going to do a full show on uh plus cart uno cart stuff coming Upgrades, up kind soon of. yeah yeah new uh new features new features oh, nice. new games new stuff new stuff and uh the uno cart 
uh, is like the Harmony Cart, where you can put an SD card in it, mm. and it plays uh, plays all the old games and new games minus DPC Plus and CDFJ. But that still allows for a lot of stuff, and there are um, specific. Uh, types of games that you can't play on the Harmony that you can play on this. Mm. None that are out yet, but there are some coming. So there you go. There's a quick rundown. Uh, if you want to know more, just do a search for uh, Plus Cart or, or Uno Cart, and there'll be some nice web pages that you can read about it. Yeah. Or ask Al Nefer as well. <laughs> he knows all about it. Okay, so uh, the first game is Tunnels of Hi Hyperion. This is an exclusive world premiere. But from VHZC Games, uh, Vladimir Zuniga, known as VHZC, on the Atari Age forums. Other games he's made are a billion of them, just to talk, say a few of them. A Roach in Space, mm -hmm. uh, Game of the Bear 1 and 2, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days, Night Guy Quest for Something, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate, uh, Uzi the Goo Gaiden, Uzi the Goo Maze Quest, Peril, Slide Boy in Maze Land, uh, he's done 8-bit games, 2600 games, 7800 games. Um, let's see what else. So this game is not out yet. Uh, this exclusive world premiere, that's why it's not out yet. <laughs> no. uh, but he says he's going to be putting out a demo after the show. Mm. So just stay tuned. Um, so let's uh, get to it. Exclusive world premiere. <laughs> Here we go. Atari <laughs> Ox Plus. Ready. Oh, let's actually have it on the screen. How about that? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Here we go. Exclusive world premiere. Atari Ox Ready. Tunnels of Hyperion. Yay. I think the volume is decent. Pump it up a Look little bit. Another great title screen. Very great title screen. You've got your ship there and the title Tunnels of Hyperion. VHZC Games. So, this is a uh, tunnel shooter scrolling, okay. horizontal scrolling horizontal. tunnel shooter. I don't know, that's not really a thing, tunnel shooters, but there are games like this where you're in a tunnel and you're shooting things and you have to avoid things. Um, it reminds me of that other very, very cool game. Is it a 7800 game? Is it Xevious or...? Uh, Xevious is uh, vertical scrolling and you're bombing things in the ground and you're shooting things. Which is the uh, one that's like a puzzle and you go back and forth and it's up or down, side, side. What is the game uh, I'm thinking oh, of? Oh, that's an old school game. Uh, up, down, side to side. No, and it's a new game. It's oh, a homebrew. And you're shooting things with your ship? On the ground and you oh. have to like figure out the puzzle to get through. And oh, there's different, puzzle. different that's levels. That's me off. The different puzzle. worlds. Oh, EXO? EXO. Oh, that's okay, what I'm thinking yes. of. Okay, that's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. tunnel shooter, right? Uh, yeah, that's... EXO. That's yeah, that's not a um, continuous. This is a continuous scrolling yes, shooter. Yeah. That one's. You, you're I don't going know back what and you would forth. Term that one yeah. as. But you are in a tunnel and shooting. That's like things. a. Yeah. A Metroid Maze. type yeah. shooter, but you yeah. control the shooter. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't don't <laughs> run into things. Yep. Don't run into things. You have to shoot some things to get through. Uh, you have to shoot some things, you have to avoid some things. Oh my goodness, okay. So you go the speed of the maze when you're not moving. I'll give you that as a hint, so you want to move forward a bit. So it's oh. very much like, um, oh, did he change it a little bit there? Oh gosh! Very much like Scramble. So I have some notes here, uh, from VHZC. Oh, we gotta go up. Oh. oh, that is that is tight. Uh, this does have checkpoints, um, so you don't have lives. You have checkpoints. Oh gosh! 
gosh. I, I, I got through it really easily, and now I'm having Oh, trouble. like Cybernoid, basically. Yeah, I've not played Cybernoid, so... You can't go forward too far. No, you gotta leave yourself some room. So no, gotta... like a lot of room. Yeah. Oh, you moved back. Oh, you moved back too way too early. Uh, some notes from VHC. Oh. It's a really early stage of development, and oh, I haven't tested on actual hardware. It. Which we're playing it on actual hardware, so it's all good. I've never had a problem with his games playing his games. Yay! On hardware. Forward. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, the timing. So it could have bugs. The mechanics of the game is quite similar, but not totally equal to game like Super Cobra and Caverns of Mars. There is not lives, but an amount of energy. At the start of every zone, and while remains and uh, and while you remain energy, ha while you have energy remaining, uh, you can respawn over and over. But you respawn at the start of the zone or at a checkpoint. Oh, that's a tactic. Did you have to know it's coming up, though? Oh, no. Oh, I think you have to go through that fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the score is determined by how much energy you have when you clear a zone. Diagonals being trouble? Oh, ran out of energy. Did I? Oh, I didn't even notice there was energy. Yeah. <laughs> can you do tri di diagonals? I can try. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's diagonals. Yeah. Uh, currently, there are 11 enemy patterns, obstacles, and 25 screens, counting checkpoints and some clear screens. And I don't know how many I will have in total. I'll plan to add as many as I can. I'm trying to keep it as a 48k game, though. Oh, yes, a 48k game. All the basic mechanics are, uh, aren't are or aren't coded yet. I'm guessing aren't. So I'm in a phase oh, of design and okay. code... Uh, coding new enemy patterns and obstacles. I have to say, at least for now, I'm pretty happy with how the game is turning out, especially the sprite work. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Uh, and it's got all the hallmarks of VHZC, which is like every screen is something completely different and has a different mechanic to uh, that you have to figure out. Yeah. And you have to be quick on your... Oh, yeah. Quick on your wits, because Ugh. you don't know what's coming. Unless you played it a bunch. Like that's, that's anticipatory. <laughs> oh, 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 clever. <laughs> oh, another... Oh. Uh, oh, oh, you did survive it. You thought you didn't. Oh. Oh, I have no power. No, that's, that's the problem right oh. here. Oh! You can see it happening right yeah. here. Yeah. So I'm gonna unplug this, plug it back in, and you should have your firepower That's back. Very odd. Is it this game or just Ooh, generally no, you've noticed? Game. Oh no! It's happened in other games, and that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the show. Yeah. Um. So Jesse said it was the TIA, which you just replace the TIA inside, which is just pulling a chip, and you hope that it's not soldered and it's. Most chips are soldered, unfortunately. Oh. oh my goodness, you keep starting over. Die and retry style. Oh, yeah, which it is. I like. I do Rather too, than actually. Lives. It's like, well, I want to get through the but game. But it does get really frustrating after a while. Yeah. So this is a more modern oh style gosh. of game. You have to be right at the front. I don't even know. I assume you can get through those oh, and easily. time it. You can. You but... just have to get right up to one and go under it. Ugh. There. Out of time. All right, there you go. Die and retry. It's fun. Hey. Oops. <laughs> Getting too far ahead. Fly higher through the vertical shots. Well, yeah. Oh. oh if you know which on. way they're coming from, you can you can pass them. Hi, VHZC. Hey, VHZC. Playing your game. You know that. Oh, go up. There we go. Yeah, you have to go up. Or and speed through it before yeah. they start shooting. It does yeah. work. I kind of got to, sick of it. I'm like, ah. It's better to practice, though. So uh, that, sure. Because you don't know when those are coming. <laughs> no, they come. They come. If you're at the front, you won't hit them. But that's, yeah. that's kind of the way to but do it. But I mean, it. later on in the game, you yeah. can't memorize. No, you can't. When they're going to be coming on the screen. 
If you can't hold down two, it's conti oh, continuous it is. fire. That's a checkpoint. Uh, oh my god, I was so close to you that were. checkpoint. That's annoying. Woo! <laughs> you just keep moving and they won't get you. Nice. Woof, woof. Oh, oh my god. Gotta stay near the top on that. I already got the checkpoint. It's nice it starts at the checkpoint. So you have to move forward on those. Mm -hmm. Or they will get you. Okay, this, you can stay in one spot. Don't even have to move. <laughs> this, you do. Actually, just stay around here, maybe. Mm. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Cat distracted me. I How do you refuel? Uh, I guess by hitting the checkpoint. Oh, the checkpoint refuels you. So I'm going to die. For sure. I don't have enough energy to make it to the next one. I have eight. Eight whatever's. Eight fuel points left. Four, three. No, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to barely make it to the thing <gasps> oh. that killed me. Oh. There's nothing there. Can we do one more? Yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Do it again. You're getting pretty far. So as long as you make it to the checkpoint, yeah, you're fine. I believe it refuels you. Maybe you can verify that. Oh, come on. Maybe it just gives you yeah. a. No, but it said, VHZC says you refuel when you clear a zone. Fully also recovers refuel? one energy point every time you shoot an energy. Uh, shoot an enemy. Oh, so you, so you it, want to shoot enemies and not yeah. avoid them. Oh, God. Can you shoot that bottom thing? Uh, Can you kill that it? That seems unlikely. I'm just curious. I'll try. I doubt it. Right? Oh! Cat! He's rummaging. His favorite pastime. His favorite pastime. Hey, rummager cat! What are you doing? He's like, I found bu bubble wrap. I'm very <laughs> excited. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. Uh, wasting my points. <laughs> Rage reset. This is a game where you can. Hmm. Because you get all your energy back. <laughs> well, you're not getting energy back now. And I'm not sure when you ah! hit the point, do you get anything back? Like these things? The checkpoint, I'm not sure, is giving oh, it yeah, back Oh, yeah, those give ghosts give energy. Do they? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I'm playing so poorly. <laughs> it's it's hard. It's, it's a hard game. It's all in the timing. I'm trying to avoid it. It's trying to go too far. Let's do all these. Let's... Oh my god, that was bad. It's a bad idea to do that. Yeah, floating up or down. Yeah, and moving forward. get your energy goes down really quick so you can kind of just delay your death by shooting yeah you don't get energy there because you haven't hit the end yet no that's just a checkpoint you can't shoot those oh you don't oh that didn't give me any energy no a checkpoint it's oh, a checkpoint it's not the end of the zone right i think oh, you have to get right boy. to the end of the zone okay oof Well, it's my we'll best see. interest to shoot those things then. <sighs> Ten. Nine. Eight, seven. You can't speed up either. You're like you just have to wait for the the zone to end. But I should be trying to shoot these actually. Oh my oh, god. Oh no. This is the type Shots. of game you would play all afternoon. Shots cost energy too. Oh no. Oh, so. I was wasting energy by holding down the button then. Oh my god, so close. Can I play again then? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I want to see what's coming. Okay, We're not going to get I'm not going to get that far. So. I am not going to shoot things randomly. Randomly anymore. Oh. oh my god. Rage reset. It is a rage re reset game. <laughs> it is. Because of the way th it counts down. Yeah, you are burning through your energy with superfluous shots. Yeah. Uh, oh no, the H said, see, no, shots don't cost energy. Oh, okay, so just generally in trouble then. Yeah. Okay, good. Well, that is good. Oh, my yeah, it doesn't speed up the loss of energy, it just continually ticks down. Because no. otherwise you'd be like wasting so much. It's one of those games yeah. where. The further away you are from the screen, at the edge of the screen. Yeah, time costs energy, Carl G. It just it just ticks down. I think that's 
you play. So really, you don't want to die. No. Because because if you die, you might you not have enough energy thing. left to get to the end. To right? even complete it. So this is a game yeah. where you like legitimately can do rage reset, and it's and there's a point to it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because you, well, unless you unless shoot a lot of stuff. Unless you've gotten through a zone, because then, you know, or you've hit the checkpoint. Yeah, yeah. That's that's right. Yeah. Okay. Given that. You said it was so close on yeah, this. Yeah, so I think you're... I'm gonna try and shoot as many of these as I can to delay my death. <laughs> oh. No checkpoint yet, though. Oh my hey! god, it was close! Whoa! Oh my ah, god! You're still ah! playing! <laughs> oh my god, it's still playing! Oh my god, okay. Oh, oh what? That's all timing right there. Yeah, I definitely want to be at the top and go with them. So that one. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be right up. Oh, I wanted these. Let's shoot a bunch. Oh, you get all my energy. Ooh. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh my god. Oh, oh. two in a row. Oh, didn't expect Dodge. that. Dodge. Three. Oof. Oof. Don't die on that. <laughs> That'd be so... Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh. Didn't know how many. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. oh. How do I... Maybe lower? Uh, uh. I didn't see immediately. Oh, go, go, go! At least I have a lot of energy. Oh, oh, yeah, that is all. You definitely want to go low and high because it's easier to. Yes, it is. To it's dodge more spread out. Okay, what is this? Do it three times. Yeah, okay. that's not too too bad. Go with it. Oh. Oh, and you have to start again. <laughs> you have to start all over. Damn, Space Bowser stepped up his fireball game. <laughs> oh, Carl G, any chance of adding a wuss mode to this title? <laughs> I would like the wuss mode too. <laughs> it's, it's challenging. Those fireballs. Oh, are... stop it! Ah! Sorry. Try not to get hit by the spinning balls. Excellent advice, Carl G. <laughs> great advice. Always, always handy advice from Carl G. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Okay, it's bottom. Yeah. And then... Oh, my God. Where's the checkpoint? Oh, 21. 21. Oh, man. Oh, good. Yeah, you haven't had much to shoot either. No. I only get oh, about You're doing well, though. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I got two of those. Oh, I'm almost out of energy. Ah, explosion! 775! Play oh, again. Oh, excellent. And I will play again. Okay. Try to get to yeah. the end of the second press, level. Press your hand. There is an end to this demo, he said. Oh. trouble with the diagonals. Yeah, that... Diagonals can be challenging. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I don't know Gotta how I did that. With it. Uh, I prefer to speed through it. It's like much easier. It is. Just completely avoid it. And you can do that with those things that come up and down too. You just stay on the right. There yeah. you go. Actually, you can just stand right for those three things completely. <laughs> yeah. That you cannot. You have to shoot your way through that one. <laughs> shoot it! Yay! Checkpoint! Run, 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 run! <laughs> That's no good. Oof, that was a little tight. It's because you weren't moving. You were already at the furthest point, oh, so there's true. nowhere. So oh. there's nowhere to move to go faster. Oh. There's a safe spot right in the middle. I know, I know. Yeah, 
I see what you're saying. Yeah, there. you want to stay back and then move. It's a safe spot there too. I know, but. But you get points for shooting. Yeah. Oh, oh just down. A, well, I was trying to dodge, but it the, dodge the stuff above, but it would just push me too far. Oh. And stay yes, high. It's too. not going to work. Oh well. Six, five, four, three, two, two. Explode. Oh, Hyperion is a moon of Saturn that is a porous, sponge-like composition that could allow the presence of tunnels. Ah. The more you know. Yeah. <laughs> Fun, 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 fun. Okay, let's, let's do see. this. <laughs> so, you can just, no, not there. <laughs> not right there you can't. Rage reset. Uh, it's, again, this I'm game. I'm trying to do tricky things and yeah. I'm completely failing. But you have to play a little bit so to it's right here. figure out the best. Yeah. And then you go right here as well. Yep, just all the way through, right to the front. It, it does make it a lot. Gonna change that for sure. <laughs> Why not? It's a neat, no, it's level one. That, that seems reasonable to me. <laughs> Gotta have a few little tricks. Psst. Cat is being super naughty. Yo, Media, how do I use Hulu to subscribe? I have no idea what you're talking about. You can use Prime to sub subscribe if you have yeah. a Prime account. So I don't think Hulu has anything to do with yeah. Amazon. Does is, it? is Hulu Amazon? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, Disney bought Hulu. Disney bought Hulu. Yeah, so they have nothing to do with each yeah, other. Yeah, it's Prime. Yeah. And when you subscribe, so you just... there's actually a little checkbox where you can sign in with your Prime account and then you do use your free prime subscription yeah so if you don't have amazon prime it's not free unfortunately no but if if you do and neomita says they do yeah from what i recall when i at least when i do it on my phone there's a little box when you try to subscribe it says oh pay and then you can click a box saying subscribe with your prime account oh. and then it links it to your prime account i i think you might log in or okay. something okay. um or it's or your twitch is already linked to it. I can't remember. Da -da, Something like that. Da -da, yeah. Da -da -da. yeah. Don't celebrate too much because it keeps going. <laughs> oh god. Go, go, ah, go. Ooh. You have to go on that first one or else you're not going to make it through. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember what's up. Oh yeah. These guys. Oh. I've got lots of, I've got lots of cuddly cats today. It's the second lap cat I've gotten. Oh, so lucky. I know. Hi, gray cat. He has been so stressed, I tell ya. Oh, yeah. That yeah. black cat stresses him that out. That black cat so stresses much. him out. Oh, if you clear zone without dying, you get a bonus. Nice. What? Oh my god. Yeah. What kind of bonus would that be? <laughs> Hopefully more energy. <laughs> uh, that would be nice. Hi. Hi. Up to 200 energy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you bite my hand? What are you doing, you silly cat? <laughs> a cardboard box has a little kitty. Kitty oh. wanting a treat. Yes. I guess the catnip was a good move. Yeah, they're both pretty <laughs> oh, mellow yeah. now. The, the black cat's just off camera, but he's just kind of doing his best sphinx imp impression. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. That is shocking. Can you shoot those? Mm. Oh, you can. <gasps> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to distract you. Mm. Threaded that needle. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best way to get through it, because <laughs> that is not easy. No. Oh, oh. No! No! No, 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 no. Are you all mellow? Yes. So damn close, VH Oh no! Oh, no. Is, it, is it almost at the end there? Or the checkpoint? Or did you already go through a checkpoint? Uh, the first checkpoint. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But... <gasps> oh, those are harder than they seem. No, I will not have that time. Can you shoot the fireballs? I don't no, think so. No, I don't so. think so. They don't seem like something you could shoot. Plus, they get reset. Yeah. That one is all timing. Oh, do it again. Do yep. it again. Do it yep. again. Yep. 
<laughs> Thank you for making the fur babies happy. Yeah. They're very happy right now. They are very happy with their catnip and their treats. Super mm -hmm. happy cats. They love it when we stream. <laughs> they love it. Like when we're they both down so here, even when we're not streaming, not if both of us are in this room together, they get really excited. Yeah. And it's like, no, we're not streaming. There's no bell. <laughs> Sometimes we give them treats anyway. But yeah. Yeah, they get very excited. When they're good cats. Yeah, they usually are. Except when they destroy uh, lighting. No, I don't. No, they <laughs> I'm, I'm making fun of them. I don't think the cat ate the brick. Oh, completely <laughs> forgot what level one is. <gasps> Such a, it looks fantastic. It does. It plays fantastic. Well. Oh my god. It plays I like the really exploding well. letters. Yeah, yeah. Really good design. Oh, oh. oh terrible. Rush terrible through it. Timing, I Rush guess. through it. Hey, kittens. Rush through it. <laughs> running out of time. Said, see, the exploding letters is a really cheap effect, but effective enough. <laughs> I don't. I think it looks pretty awesome. I think Sometimes everything. The best the, effects are cheap. The cloud effects when you shoot. Yeah. <laughs> when you shoot things, you almost knocked over my water. Gray cat wants to play. Um, I love. I love how when you shoot things, there's a little explosion. There's a little puff of yeah. smoke. It's satisfying. It's very satisfying. Yeah. Oh come on, get one. Yeah. Need some extra energy. Come on, get them. No, cat, cat, cat. Cat. Cat's on my arm. <laughs> He's licking your hand. He wants to play. He, he likes VH said C games too. He does. He yes. loves them. Yes. Okay. Last part of this. As long as I shoot a bunch and don't die. This is not bad, this part, because they pause. But you do have to shoot them to get by them if they're they're blockading you. Well, he, and it's not bad because it keeps your... <sighs> yeah, it keeps your health up. There's a lot of opportunity <laughs> to... Uh, Oh, oh, terrible, terrible bonus. Yeah. Here we go. Fresh start. Which is nice that if you pass the level, yeah. you're like, okay, Your zone resets. You're completely back to normal. I mean, you, you, it's still continuous play, though. There is no pause in the no. game, which keeps it <laughs> challenging, right? Like You can pause the game with oh, the pause. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so, that's good. But it's over there. <laughs> So That's always pause. the problem with Atari games. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> Your pause, there. you have to run across the room. Ooh! I did the same thing, so I don't know if that. Can shoot these. Oof! 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 Oh, this is it for sure. Yay! That was excellent. Oh yes. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, there's the bonus, because I did it in one, right? End of demo. Thanks for playing. Thank you, You're welcome. VHC. That was Thank awesome. Thank you, VHC, for making this game. Oh, my God. It is... It's challenging. Yeah. It's one of the more challenging uh, games he's made. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the variety keeps you on your toes. You're like, what's coming? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. What do I have to do? Yeah. Do I have to shoot it? Do I have to avoid it? Yeah. You have to... Oh, my God. Yep. So, can you complete it? No. No. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad we got to Very see it to cool. the end, Very cool. Um, uh, VHC, are you going to be releasing this demo now for the peoples to give a try to? Um, I think he was going to do that. Oh, okay. So keep a watch out okay, in nice. the forums. Nice. Um, for that. It's, yeah. it's looks very amazing. fun. It looks really good. Definitely throw it in an emulator or onto your Dragonfly slash Concerto. Yeah. I've tested in the Dragonfly. I haven't tested in the Concerto, so I don't know if it works on that. Mm -hmm. um, but it uh, will work on an emulator. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Awesome. VHZC. So, uh, the next game we're going to be playing is Captain Comic from 2020. Um, there's a little bit of preamble for this because it, I'm trying not to reutilize not any of my previous assets for the games except for the explosion. Mm. Yes, they were all mm -hmm. new ones. Very nice. Even the font is new. Yeah. I mean, it's nice to con continually rework and rethink your art. Oh yeah. You know, he, instead well, he of loves just redoing his art. I know. I think over. that's, that's, that's amazing. So this is Captain Comic by Anthony Quinlan, 2600. Mm. Uh, first post, August 30th, 2020. Uh, this build is from November 21st, 2020. It's a 512K game. 
So it will only work on the Dragonfly right now. Mm. Concerto doesn't have that much um, uh, memory. Uh, other games he's made, Bass Fishing Tournament, Bomber Hero for the 7800, Captain Comic for the 7800 for playing. SimCity 7800, uh, Street Rod 2600, Test Drive for the 7800. Um, so it is a port. So this is the game that it was ported from. This is a DOS game. Yeah, it is in stereo. Um, the Adventures of Captain Comic is a platform game written by... Maybe I should get into the game. Oh no, it's there. Uh, written by Michael De Niro for MS DOS compatible operating systems, released as shareware in 1988. Let me get see De right there. Denio. Denio. What did De Niro. I say? <laughs> I said De Niro. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Michael De Niro. De Niro. Uh, it was one of the first side-scrolling games for the IBM PC. Wow. Uh, reminiscent of games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and it presaged. Presaged? <laughs> a trend of shareware platform Presage. games in the early 1990s. Uh, a version for the NES was later published by Color Dreams as an unlicensed title. And a sequel, Captain Comic 2, Fractured Reality, was released in 1990. Um, so this is the uh, MS-DOS version of it, um, which is the one he is MS -DOS, basing yeah. it on. Gotcha. The game we're going to play. Um, and I'll show you the NES version quickly, which is a little bit different, actually. Oh, um, it does, yeah. One second. You guys can hear it, but can't see it. There you go. Uh, I'll get some of the game pretty quick. There you go. Uh, different speed. It's a lot faster on the NES, because the other one was like the first side-scrolling game ever on the PC. So they're just trying to make it work. Um, Captain Comic is on a mission to the planet Tambi, where the quest begins. Comic must find three artifacts, mystical gems of uh, Lascarbanos and a thousand coins of tenor and the crown of ages. To find them, he must travel through varied environments. The game is completed when Comic is in possession of all three treasures. So this is the NES version of it, uh, which it is not based on. Um, it might have some elements of it, but yeah. Yeah, 512. Yeah. Uh, and I'll get to why he made it 512 in a little bit. Uh, so let's get to the game now. Yes. I'll load it up because it takes a little while to load up because it's really big. Oh, kitty. Kitty took your spot. Oh, meanie. Still loading. There we go. I mean, not a time. Oh, look nice. There you go. There's the birds. Okay, you are playing immediately, so. <laughs> Shoot everything. And it is not side scrolling, it is a, um, a screen flip uh, type of game, where the other one was side scrolling. Because uh, apparently it's fairly difficult to do scrolling full screen like huh. graphical scrolling in um, the 7800 game. It's not super simple. Um, so, uh, what 2600 ah. said about this game. First ROM, uh, first release of this ROM is work in progress. Feel free to have a play around the first level. Far from perfect, has lots of work to go. However, it is playable. Um, I need to turn it up a little bit. Ah, oh, not too much. So you get three lives and health as well. If you fall, you lose a life, but if bugs touch you, you just lose, lose health. Lose a little bit a little of health. Bit. Yeah. Um, it's not a one for one of the original, but has the aesthetics. Mm. Basically, it would be my take on Captain Comic, as there's a high chance the name of the game will change when I get further into it. There will probably be some completely new enemies and some it a hybrid of both uh, Captain Comic 1 and 2. So Ooh. that other bird doesn't kill you, it doesn't hurt you at all. Uh, not think. yet, but. I think just the the wasp. Yeah, does. right now. Any anyway, guess we'll see how it pans out. Uh, on January eleventh, twenty twenty one, he said, "I kind of have to put this project uh, to the side for a few reasons. I had mentioned in older posts. I do, I did, I do open the source from time to time, and I think I really should work on the enemy AI and add some comment com content. Because right now that um, wasp enemy AI just well, there's no. He AI. just goes. He just goes just... straight for you. Yeah." 
goes down to your level and then hangs around your head yeah. and stings the, your the head. The blue one just kind of... Just flies. Because in the other game, the blue one does attack you. Yeah. But not from the left. I believe it is from the right. Uh, yeah, there's some audio. Ah! When, you sh when you shoot. Is there? Yeah. I can't hear anything right now. It's quiet. I, I did turn it up. So that must have been the issue. I think you should be able to hear it now. We can't. Oh. There we go. Oh. Um, let's see. The first level is never completed other than the screen layouts. I had some decent background oh. tiles ready for the following levels that only made it into an early demo. Anyway, I would really like to fix the enemy AI and items uh, sometime in the near future. There we go. Nope, can't go that way. I am sure the motivation will arise someday as I always like the DOS game. Then September 16th, uh, 2022, after we posted that we're going to play it. Oh. Uh, it's also far from complete. In fact, it's very early stages and just sat on the back burner. I really didn't think the community had much interest in this project and thought it was just nostalgia oh. on my part. Ah. The ROM is 512K only because it was very early development. I had no idea how much the ROM space the level design would take as the plan was to create many levels. Uh, next to no enemy AI, jumping physics and additional tweaks were all planned, but once again, very early dev. Uh, there really isn't that much to the game at the moment other than what is playable. This one, uh, I would like to continue, even if it's just for my own memories. I, I like it. I think it's good. I think it's a it fun plays, platformer. It plays pretty well. Like, as you say, you know, the enemy AI and all that needs to be... There's something to collect there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, needs to be worked on a little bit. Uh, and more enemies. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right and, also, one. and also, this blue guy just dive bombs me, even <laughs> though he doesn't hurt me. Yeah. He he's, just, he's, he's a little much. <laughs> <laughs> but uh does he not hurt you at all i don't think so is he i don't oh, know he's not on this level oh there he is yeah or maybe he only comes when you're a certain distance from the left maybe yeah which which actually makes sense so he's planned to come from the left to hurt you when you uh i'd like to see if he does actually hurt you Carl G says it's a very solid start, and I'd love to see some more. Yeah, he does. He he is he is affecting my health. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh. Is. Oh gosh, this level, I just I have so much Gotta trouble get right with. Right to the edge. Do you hit your head? Yeah, you do. No, not there. Oh, not there. You okay. do on the on the bricks. Oh. Uh, and then on Facebook, Ooh. he posted after I posted it. Um, just beware, Captain Comic is very buggy and early development. I haven't found any bugs. No, not really. Other than the ones on the screen that attack you. Like that one. Uh, enemy AI oh. is non-existent. Oh, you fell off. My health is zero. Weird. Oh my god. <laughs> that is a bug. Don't get hit. That is a bug. Oh, now it's 97. Okay. Oh, yeah, something well, that, happened that there. That was a bug. Oh, he does hurt you. He does yeah. hurt you. Um, hit detection wasn't refined. I, I think the hit detection's fine. Oh, you can kill the black, the blue bird. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. Oh, that was. <laughs> That's a tight fit. Uh, only one level. It was basically an early engine development and foundation for what, uh, would have been. Having you feature the game might help with my motivation to pick it up again. <laughs> was really excited to make this game when it started as a childhood favorite of mine. Cheers. And um, sometimes that is a motivation for me to put it on the show. <laughs> so people Especially keep like working on it? Space Taxi last episode. Oh. It was like really, really early development, but I really love that game and would like to see him continue. And I, I think this game is more than <gasps> worthy of... Oh! Mm. More than worthy of continuing. Yeah. It's a fun platformer and I think would be a lot of fun to have more like ground enemies, like crawling around. Because in the other one, there are some ground enemies. Oh my god. <laughs> Did it I start from the beginning the wrong again? Button. I'm gonna die. Uh, oh. I died immediately. I've oh. got the wrong button. Rage reset. So if the touch is brief, he doesn't take much. Yeah, it only takes like one, but it does, yeah, I think it does, he does affect you over time. So you do have to kill him. But Especially when he's buzzing around not, your head. He's not too hard to kill. No. You just have to hit your fire button while Especially he's in contact with you. 
because yeah. he goes right for you. Yeah. So he lines up himself. I do like the 99 health, though. That does <laughs> mean you can get fairly far before your health depletes. Yeah. And it's a platformer, but... Oh, oh my Ooh. god. Oh! Ooh. What? You, what? like, double jumped in the air. I wonder if you That's can do that. That's interesting. Oh god, nope, no! Nope, not there! You have to be careful when you go around the corner. Because uh, oh. you, you you fall sometimes, so you just have to be Damn it. be careful. That double jump was it worked in my favor, but yeah. I don't think that was supposed to happen. No, I don't think it was. It really reminds me of that the DOS version. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, has a real DOS look to uh, it. The especially the 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 grass and the mud, you know, oh, yeah. it just, just screams DOS. <laughs> screams DOS game. So it's a good idea to wait for that uh, wasp to come before you go to the right-hand side. Usually comes out fast enough, but... Um... The previous game is still displayed on the left. Oh! oh! Well, I can't switch it right now. Let's see. I can do it before the wasp comes. Thank you for letting me know. There you go. Ooh, that's a nice cart, too. Very nice. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took it from uh, the Captain Comic uh, DOS. Gotcha. DOS Captain version. Comic 2 uh, DOS cover, which somebody posted in the thread. Mm. I just manipulated it so it didn't say certain things. I, yeah. I um, blanked out some spots and put them in space. <laughs> so the pole is closed. And now I don't see it on the screen, but I think it was on the other screen. Oh. Yeah, I can bring that up. Not for everyone else, but for you, so you can see it. Oh, it's gone. Uh, it's gone. That's always what happens. It was it was left, Oof. overwhelmingly, the last I checked. Oh, yeah, which I expect. Nice. Oh, there's oh. probably supposed to be something down in yeah. that little uh, spot. Yeah, but there not isn't. right now. But that you can see down there, you, you could go back to it. Okay. I'm going to go down there. Yeah. Oh, boy, that was... A mistake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, I only have one life left. Oh. One in reserve. One in reserve. Hopefully. I believe. Hopefully you did it correctly. <laughs> and didn't do it the the wrong way, where it's a life that is the life you're on. Oh, it's I like, know. That I don't make any sense. I always that always bugs me too. Come on, come on. Boom. Oh. Oh, I think <gasps> this is the end of the level. Nice. Yeah. There's nothing further. This? Yeah, there's no. a wall there. Oh. Nice! There we go! Glitch! And end of game. Yay! Yay. That, it, it looks great. I think, I, I hope it does motivate um, motivate them to yeah. work on it a bit more. It's pretty fun. It looks, it's very playable the way it is. Yeah. Even, and I think you're even, right. It needs a few tweaks, but... Uh, just, like, for the first level, it needs um, some ground-based enemies just sprinkled in here and there. Yeah. I think that's it. And some more treasure that you and have to treasure. go around and get. Yeah. Like some of those um, Yeah, it's, it's clear that they he wanted a few little hidden areas to get things. So yeah, um, so yeah it, it looks like the seed of it is there. It just Yeah, yeah. and he says he worked really on nice. some graphics for the second level. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Keep, yeah. keep going, making a second level yeah, and put in some more cool. enemies. You've got two of them there. Yeah. Um, yeah, just some ground ones. A couple ground ones in the first one would be good. And, um, yeah, maybe the wasp is, moves a little different. Why can I post if it does not do anything? Well, you, it's not just posting it. You have to, like, redeem your points at the bottom of the screen. Uh, you click on the 01101 on the bottom left in the chat, and then you can uh, trigger the bell. Yeah, for the kitties. Not just posting the bell that doesn't yeah do the anything. bell is just the icon right yeah. yeah so we will wait for that <laughs> we won't switch to the next one um yeah the original game has extra life pickups as well there you go thomas yay yay more treats for cats oh my meow, goodness meow. so much crying all done but the crying. Do you want to feed them? No, stinky. Stinky. Very stinky. <laughs> it's like, come on, give me a second. Gotta get the treats. Oh, you were saying I should bring down this this time? 
Oh yeah. So I have to say, seeing seeing their little faces is pretty cute. Ring the bell, buddy. He's to so confused by me uh, having this down here. I think so. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> He's a big kitty. Yes. That's for you. Nope, not the camera. He's trying to hit the camera now. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell, baby. Hit the bell. There you go. Come on, Spike. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. Come on, Atari. Come on, Atari. Try again. Hit it a little harder. A little harder. Oh, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Doesn't always ding quite so well. Good kitty. There you go. <laughs> Cat cam street view. Yeah. Ring the bell. No, not the camera. Good kitty. Good kitty. Okay, we're all done. <laughs> we're all done. Cute cats. That's how you get chonkers with too many treat cans. Too many treats. <laughs> chonkers cats. Chonkers. They do have gentle paws. They do. They're very soft paws. Yeah. Bear Blair Witch 3 treat time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cute. Let's go to the next game. Oh, VHZC just posted Tunnels of Hyperion on the AA forum. Excellent. Oh, Everybody everyone's going to be downloading that, gone, playing that. Yeah. Leaving us. Yeah, suddenly no one's no one's watching the show oh, anymore. Oh, so sad. <laughs> so sad. Uh, so we're almost done the show. One more game. One more game. Don't run off yet. You can download it, get it ready, but don't run off. <laughs> um, so the next game is Alpha Race. by oh, SIO2, I believe, Breck Brixius, uh, SIO2, first posted September 11th, 2015. This build is from September 20th, 2015. It's a 32K game. Other games they've made, Alpha Ray, Cyber, Cyber, Frogus, Shoot the UFOs, 2015, and Sick Pickles. Um, this is available in uh, the Good Deal Games mm -hmm. store. Oh, you guys are still looking at the webcam. Uh, <laughs> So here it is on the Good Deal Game Store. Alpha Race. Destroy the droid ships while avoiding space mines and strategically bouncing off the edge barriers. Uh, Alpha Race plays similar to Omega Race, except that uh, Alpha Race has actual race against the timer component that adds extra tension. Uh, plus, after destroying all the enemies on a particular level, you must escape by flying into a warp gate before the new, more aggressive opponent blasts you out of the sky. It is related to Omega Race. It is similar but not the same. Um, we'll sh let me show you a video of Omega Race so you can compare it. Oh, oh already had up. Good. Boom, boom. YouTube session. You might want to switch out the cart too. Oh, thank you. So you're the ship on the left shooting. Mm-hmm. Hey, scratch that. Oh. And you shoot all the things. This person appears to have made the choice of not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Just staying. Oh, there we go. Now we got some movement. Oh, there's there's things that hatch from walls. Them, I guess, if you take. Yeah, bouncy walls. Walls that uh, show up when you get close. Laying things down. Nice. Oh, cleared. And the next level. And I think, uh, let's go to a level that's a little bit different. Or is it always the same? 
Just more. Just more. Yeah. It's with just the box in the middle, yeah. More of the same. It's weird having score and lives in the center, yeah. It, it is, but... It's a bit I mean, odd, but... Uh, that's the screen layout, so that kind of yeah. works. You're just in the donut, you know? You're running around the donut hole. So, let's uh, load it up. Which it makes me want donuts now. Oh, donuts. <laughs> why? Why? Yeah. Why did I mention that? So, similar music. Sorry, it's echoing for people, I'm sure. Um, the cartridge art that I'm showing on the screen um, is the alternative that was not chosen for the for the game. Okay. Um, but I like I like that one, so I used that one. So press up for options. Bonus ship every ten thousand. So you can pick your ship color, the Omega color, and the background. I would go for black background. Um, uh, like I said, this is available at the Good Deal Game Store and also the Atari Age Forums. You can download it. Um, from Wikipedia, it says Omega Race is a shoot 'em up arcade. I would go for up. I found it a bit weird with the button because you have okay. to shoot and use the button. Um, I'm not sure where yeah. the warp field okay. is. So, button one, exit, and press button two, start. So the movement is a little different in this, and it was a point of contention in the Atari Age forums uh, about the, the way the movement worked. But I will get to that. I don't dislike it. Yes, yeah, just different. Ah, fish is laying mines all over the screen. You have to go to that uh, box and get go into it. I have to go into it. Yeah, oh. that's the work. Easier said than done. Oh, you're on target for it. Go there. There we go. Um, Omega Race is a shoot 'em up designed by Rod Ron Halliburton and released in 1981 by Midway. It is the only arcade game with vector graphics that Midway created. Uh, Omega Race was ported to the VIC-20 and Commodore 64 and published by Commodore in 1982. In 1983, ColecoVision and Atari 2600 versions were released by CBS Electronics. And we played this in the, uh, the marathon of all the 2600 games. And I found out we missed a game. Oh no! So I'm going to search and see if we missed any more and do like a little follow-up. As part of something else, not a standard. So what did what did we miss? Uh, some game I can't remember what it's called. It's it's a it's a not no very well known PAL game. Those are the games that I'm gonna miss because people would have pointed out some major games like you missed Pac-Man. Well, yeah, Ugh. definitely people would know that I missed Pac-Man. Oh my missed God! Pac-Man Combat? Yeah, I missed Combat for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not the easiest movement, I agree. The 320 pixel modes are asking why they weren't used for this. <laughs> are they? All of the 320 pixel modes are asking that? Yeah, that is interesting why I didn't use the higher um, uh, graphics. I have to jump back to 2015 and ask him. <laughs> Uh, so, in the thread, he posted some more, some more information about uh, the game. Um, or oh, Albert said, Wow, great job. I loved playing Omega Race in the arcades back in the day, but boy, it was a tough game. Look forward to trying this out in a real console. Atari, 2600, uh, Atari Boy 2600 says, Hey, is it okay if I could do the label art for this game? Uh, trying to match the old Omega Race artworks. Uh, no, Atari Boy also did artwork for Baby Pac-Man, Melbourne Taddy... Pac-Man Collection, Space Invaders, and of course Alpha Race, and a bunch of other games. So, uh, getting to the control, because it does not drift as much as the other game. This one you kind of move and stop, move and stop, move and stop. It's just different control for it. Uh, currently, the control routine uses the joystick directions left and right to step through eight positions. Then it adds thrust and drag at constant rates. So the ship moves, stops, and changes directions immediately. I call that responsive, and I like that. I don't want a hard stop. I don't stop. I play with my thumbs laying on the throttle and the blaster, so I even included a brake option to stop immediately when the ship has momentum built up. 
I can understand that people with other styles of play might want a different response from the ship, especially since that system is quite common. Just having a hard time getting my mind to process the math. I honestly had not set out to recreate Omega Race. I wanted a different game with some of the same components that played harder and faster than any version of Omega Race on a classic home console. To me, Alpha Race is a different game because it has different rules and mechanics than Omega Race. I don't see a need to recreate an arcade version of Omega Race because people can play Ron Halliburton's masterpiece with Maine. I think one thing that is going on is people are really wanting Omega Race for the 7800. I agree that would be nice. Perhaps that will happen in the future. It, is, it just isn't where I intended to go with this effort. So that brings up a good question I think I've asked before. What... What do people expect, or what do people, uh, what do developers go for when they make a port? Or what should they go for when making a port? Because I, it's understandable that people will want, oh, I want the arcade game on my whatever console they ported it to. Yeah. And they're not expecting massive changes. They're expecting, oh, I want to play it exactly the same. But the developer may have different ideas, and of course that's completely up to the developer to implement the ideas that they want in the game, because they're the ones making it. I mean, unless they are, like, being paid by a company to make it, like, X, uh, it's completely up to them to make it how they want to make it. Oh, we can't shoot the fish. Oh, you can't! You have to get into uh, the warp, avoid I it. guess, yeah. yeah. I think, I think that, that is, is not a race. <laughs> turn down the game volume. Oh, yeah, is it high? That continuous shooting is a bit. A bit yeah, because I was I was continuously shooting. Yeah. Audio is very subjective because it's actually lower than most games that I put on. Like the, the I kept how you have lower. adjusted. Yeah. But audio is very different depending on the pitch. Yes. And what you're listening what to. What you're listening to, yeah. So what do you have it? If something is very graded. Yellow and green. Oh no, it changes back every time. Oh, it does? Yes, it doesn't keep it. Well, that's so you have to shit. change it to black and then um, I had the difficulty on easy. Oh, green and white. That's so, all. So. Oh, okay. I had it on easy. So you can play it on normal if you're uh, comfortable. I find the movement a little challenging, but. Uh, what's warp field? Yeah. I don't know. Turn Let's it on. Let's try it on. Are you warping from the edges, maybe? Nope. I'm not sure. No, the edges don't nope, do anything. you hit it. Whoa, I hit it immediately. Yeah. Well, that's always a bonus. That doesn't happen in games often, but it does happen where you're like... You're just... Usually it's with enemies, and you're like, oh, the enemy spawned right where I was. Right where that's you were. That's great. Sometimes it works in your favor. Now you have momentum. Uh, you have a tiny bit of momentum. Yeah, but you do you do kind of pause. And you stop immediately. Oh, I'm glad that guy didn't go for me. Like if you hold it down. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, if you hold it down, it builds. Oh. Oh, I'm not touching anything, and it doesn't slow down. He has brakes though. Oh, he does. Oh, you can build it up. Oh. So if you continuously hold. In, oh, I see. Oh, it also doesn't do it. It doesn't hold the momentum. Like if I turn. When you turn. Like I'll go, let's see, I'll go straight left, and then I'll turn. Oh, let's build up the moment. Okay. And I'll turn. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. It's interesting. No, it changes direction immediately. <laughs> See, there are 22 Greek letters available. This could be a, a large game franchise. <laughs> Alpha, beta, it gamma, can. delta, epsilon. <laughs> and it changes every time. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, that fishy. Oh, he's coming that back again. That is one Run. corrupted goldfish right there. Oh, my God. It's actually difficult when that fish is coming. Oh, it is, because you can't kill him. Oh. I don't think. Narrow passage. Yeah. <laughs> if ports always have to be perfect and identical to the original, then Yars of Revenge would not have come from trying to port Star Castle, That's yes? Very yeah. true. He would have given up and went, Oh, I can't make Star Castle. Yeah. Uh, so Yars of Revenge is pointless. Oh, that was on easy. Yeah. 
Um, so I can understand the criticism that came yeah. from this because people are expecting something and they didn't get and that And they got thing. something different. I mean, yeah. that's always, that's always, um, expectation, oh uh, expectations, uh, managing no, people's what? expectation is the rule in most environments. Yes. Because when people don't get what they expected, they get very upset, even if what, what they get is fantastic. So. And free. <laughs> and free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like it. It's not bad, says Neo Media. Yeah, I think it's just... Uh, it's just different. Just different. And you have to get used to the different movement. Greenfish. Greenfish. <laughs> yeah. It's just a, it's just a yeah. moldy goldfish is what it is. <laughs> so, yes, if you build up momentum going... I can never show this. Ah! Uh, build up momentum one direction and you change. It completely puts that mo that direction's momentum to zero. Yes. And you move in that other direction immediately. Thrust is uh, not particularly happy with that either. <laughs> Omicron race might involve outrunning a virus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, your turn again. Okay. See if you do bet. You did better than I did. I don't know if that's true. I was true. very bad. I'm gonna try normal. Uh, he added something very interesting about his name in the thread that I thought would be interesting to read out. Um, this is way, way off topic, but please be careful naming your children. Oh. My name is Breck Brixius, which is an uncommon name and an uncommon spelling of that name. Breck. I've never heard somebody named Breck. Have Breck is, is not that a... Is uncommon. A, not a super common name, I would say. I also find it to be a bit of a tongue twister. Breck Brixius. A little bit. So many times when I introduce myself to people, they get stuck trying to process my name. I hear them say... I'm sorry, did you say Rick? Yeah. Brad? Rod? Brick? Then after five minutes of talking to them while well, they go, uh-huh, uh-huh, they say, what nationality is that? Your last name. Then I know they're still trying to put me in a box and they have not heard a word I said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, so when somebody introduces himself as Breck Brixius, that sounds like a movie name. Like it, a, it does sound a little bit like... A, a superhero name. Yeah. With the alliteration, like Peter Parker. With, yeah, with the alliteration. Yeah, Marvel did that a lot. Yeah. Um, so I can see where the frustration, where somebody's not even listening to what you're saying and they're yeah. thinking about your superhero name. You're a superhero name. Breck, Breck Brixius. So parents, resist that urge to be different. Jim is just fine. Jim is fine. <laughs> so that's that's an, uh, something you don't hear from somebody very often, complaining about their own name. Well, we all have name complaints. Yep. You mine, complain about your uh, apostrophe in your name. I Computers are my nemesis. Yeah, they are. People are not too bad. People say, t call me Brian. Sometimes. Once in a while, because they just stick with that Brian. They, yeah. they, they see Brian and they go, oh, your name's Brian. Because well, it's a common first name. Yeah. And computers hate two things about my last name. One, there's two capital letters, which is not as uncommon as you think. Like there's Van Blah, lots of O something. Yeah. But, but also there's an apostrophe, yeah. which most computer input schemes do not understand whatsoever it's like please input a to z only in your name so it's like no I'm not allowed to do it so sometimes i have to put all oh. lowercase no apostrophe o b r i e n yeah yeah like vhc's last name is zuniga i don't know how common that well, name is uh, but i think anytime you have accents as well with a with a accent any any end. accent from another language and you're dealing with english english <laughs> keyboards and wording i think is always problematic as well too yeah um you know whether it's french or spanish or or, or anything i mean um if you're dealing in your own language it's probably they're probably gonna have some accommodation for that but i can totally see that um, yeah, VHC, uh, uh, a UTF-8 nightmare. Yeah. The... Oh, there's an accent over the U, too. I did not know you had an accent over the U. I've been putting it with just Zuniga the N. With the N, yeah. Oh, because I've seen your name without that U, and it's probably because you can't put it in. <laughs> in some cases, you have to use the special characters. His name on Facebook Zuniga. doesn't have that U. 
accent, but it does have the N accent. I know a lot of people, I mean, I work with people who, who are French speakers because we have French speakers in Canada and across, we were, I work with people across the country and yeah. I, I find a lot of the times they, so they don't put their accents in their names when they're typing. And Yeah, it's just, um, oh I think, my God. Yeah, they shoot a lot more. Oh my normal. God. Is this advanced or normal? This is hard. Uh, uh, hard. Uh, there's more shooting. That's what I've noticed with oh, the difference okay. between easy and Not more normal. enemies, just more shooting. May, there might be more enemies, but there's definitely a lot the more shooting. shooting is fast. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> but, it, um, but I do find it funny that a lot of databases will not accept apostrophes. Um, like you've had trouble with your name too and they've totally mistaken your name completely wrong oh my last name yeah. well my maiden name which i, I go by yeah. sometimes which i'm not going to say on <laughs> on stream but um uh yeah it yeah. does it i have a short last name and people miss miss they confuse it all the time so. and somebody typed it in as your first name once Right? Not my first name, but I'm yeah, in a. They, they refer, refer to you there at that place. No, 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 no. Oh, no. don't they? They they refer to it as my last name. Oh. But they they type whenever I sign up for some <laughs> grocery store <laughs> system. Do you know what oh, I mean? Uh, for some uh, I don't know points based <laughs> scheme yeah. that they have. Um, I wrote down my last name and they. God, wrote it down wrong and I've tried to get it changed and they're like oh well you're gonna have to call head office I'm not, I'm not calling head <laughs> no. office for my name for my name Who but cares? my last name's wrong in there because it they miss miss oh my god it's a they, mess in here mistook oh, I'm gonna die. one of the letters so anyway. hard is hard hard is really hard yeah. yeah and Carl says it's annoying having to say with a K when giving my name every time oh Carl with a K. yeah I have to spell my last name my first name's super common yeah there the other Not spellings are so are much more rare, with, like with uh, Y's. Yeah. Like J A Y, I don't know, M E S. J A Y. James. Oh, James. Yeah, that's not that. Common. It's not even a really yeah. a thing. I mean, Tanya, Tanya with an I, Tanya. There's multiple spellings of my name, but I think Tanya with a Y is probably the most common one. Uh, maybe. Oh, that was easy. I think so. I think most of the time that's what people default to, but I do end up spelling it. But I, I mean, people's uh, names, people, parents put all kinds of crazy things. They well, want to be different. I don't right? think it's crazy, but I think they're trying to oh, come on. Make, make names more unique now. So you do they have are. to ask a lot more, even for common common names. Oh God! Um, because people way. tend to okay, do alternative spellings for a lot of names now. I have no issue with that. It just bothers me when the database won't accept it because, yeah. because of an accent or an apostrophe. That's kind of annoying. So. Uh, oh no! Yeah. Oh, Dad, this is a hard, hard game. Yeah, ZH says, yeah, I cursed an online course about databases on Stanford and where they really restrict about character or codification. But when they send my certificate, <laughs> my last name was Z question mark. <laughs> Zed something. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, databases are the worst. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially old ones. Especially when you get official things typed out and, and they're, they're wrong. just messed up. Yeah. I don't think that's ever happened to me with my last name, luckily. Because there are a lot of... There's a whole country with people with apostrophes yeah. in yeah, Ireland. Um, nice. Munich is in Bavar Bavaria. Bavaria. Is it? Nice. I always thought Munich was in Germany. Mm. Munich is Germany, isn't it? Bav Bavaria is a part of Germany. Oh, well, he says it's not Germany. I don't know. <laughs> my first name is ultra common. No Thomas, idea. yes. Yes. And nobody knows how to spell and pronounce my surname. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah. Yanch? Yanch, yeah. yeah. Like, it looks totally different than how you say it, especially to mm -hmm. English as a first language speakers, for sure. Oh my God, what's this? Warp 64 times? Wow. Yeah, good luck. Oh my God. Um, I am very bad at thrust games. Me too. I'm not So we're not you. the best people to show this no. off. But uh, once He's you get kidding. used yeah. to the way it works uh, with the constant, like it's either on or off the movement, the thrusting and the braking. Yeah, I, I figured he was kidding, Carl. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure Bavaria is in Germany. Bavaria is the Bavaria. California of the States. Nice. Oh, I see. So uh, that is it 
for today. Yeah. So today we played... Mm -hmm. ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tunnels of Hyperion. Yay! Excellent start to his uh, new game, VHZC's new game. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm very looking forward fun, fun, to fun. more punishing levels. <laughs> yes. That was hard, but I do like where you get to a checkpoint, the checkpoints and the end of level. Yeah, checkpoints I think are that great. helps a lot. The end of level is like clear slate. Yeah. You start again. If you made like it, you too. made it. Yeah. And like you, there's no more punishments. You don't have the lies, lives that are, uh, you have three lives, two lives. No, you start clean. Yep. So if I you like made it, too. you made it. That's good. So I'm really looking forward to um, playing that on the show again when mm -hmm. he's added some more levels to it. Uh, we played Captain Comic, a very good start to a game. And I really hope that uh, um, he continues on yes. with it. Yep. Um, That'd what's be great. his name again? It's like Atari 2600 all spelled out. That's what it is, right? Um, so I hope uh, he continues on with uh, making more levels yeah. and adding it. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks, looks great. Really good. Plays great. Yeah. The jumping is good. I love the platforming in it and the layout of the screen. Yeah. Um, power-ups would be nice yeah. in Captain Comic. Yes, because in the original game, there are power-ups for shooting. Yeah. So you can get triple shots rather than just one shot. You can build it up to three shots. There's extra lives in the original game as well. Um, probably some other power-ups that I didn't really notice mm -hmm. as well. Uh, talk about thrust. Foot pedal is here. The game thrust is on the way, and so is the steering wheel controller. Ooh, it is nice. awesome with the foot pedal and the and the steering wheel. Yeah. Well, not steering wheel controller. I haven't. I don't have one of those. But yeah. Um, the um, the driving, driving controller. controller. Yep. It's excellent with that. Yeah. Controls so well. And then uh, Ivory Tower mentioning uh, a month out from PRG. I cannot believe it's a month away. Oh. I feel like time is accelerating. Yes. Uh, that's coming up really fast. And speaking of PRGE, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's. I put a uh, thread for the Atari Age slash ZPH PRG meetup at Ground Control. Nice. Uh, in the uh, community events, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, area. Mm -hmm. Hey all, I'm organizing a casual meetup with the Atari Age members slash ZPH viewers at the awesome Barcade Ground Control Yay. in Portland. Since I think most of us will be around Saturday for PRG, I thought it'd be fun to have a place where we can all get together, for have a few drinks, chat, play some great arcade games. Nice. Might be a good idea to keep your Atari Age badges on so we know who everyone is. Yeah. Because I'm terrible with names. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Uh, I, I will recognize <laughs> some of you that I've interviewed. Yes. But the people I just see names of, yeah. I'll be like, oh, I don't yeah. know who you are. Um, uh, there's a light rail transport that goes directly from the convention center. It's like across the street. From That's it. perfect. Yeah. And there's a stop right outside ground control. Nice. Nice. Um, it's only a 15 minute ride and it goes every 15 minutes, at least during the day. It's pretty frequent, I think, those yeah. light rail. Yeah. And it's only $2.50, yeah. so it's easy to get to, even if you don't have a car, and I yeah. know a lot of people would be flying in, so it's yeah. very easy to get to. Yeah. So that'll be on the Saturday night. I think 8 p.m. is safe uh, yeah. to, you know, you can go out to have dinner beforehand and yeah. then come afterwards. And they have food there too, so if you they want do. a hot dog or something, I recall they, they have- the food after a while. I don't know when that is. Might be 10, but Might we'll look 10. it up. Yeah. yeah. The details, I'm sure, are on their website. Yeah. And hopefully Ground Control's open that night. I would ex expect Saturday. so. Saturday. But is. we should double check it just in case. Uh, yeah, um, it's going to be packed. But eh, that's all the better. Yeah. So get to your games quick. Uh, yeah. 8 p.m. to closing, which is midnight. Yeah. So we'll, or you can leave early if you're sick of us. Yeah. Um, we'll be at Ground Control, 115 Northwest, 5th Avenue, Portland. We'll both be there. Yeah. Um, and uh, a lot of people responded. Lithium, oh. Mr. Zarna Whoop. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Muddy Funster. Excellent. Daryl 1970, XKenX, Bruce Robert Pocock, Carrie Car Yojimbo, and probably a bunch of other people yep. who don't want to say that they're going to be there. Yeah, but, but that's fair. And, uh, <laughs> yep. Oh, Thrust, looking forward to the person's feedback for Thrust Plus. Yes, game good stuff. game is 20 stuff. years old now. Yeah. It's an amazing game. The graphics, the movement, it's so, so good. Yeah. I was getting better at it. Um, never been. I'm going to try and go next year. Oh, yep. I should have come enough. this year. Uh, it's going to be it's hard. crazy packed. It's hard to say, but they ha hold vendors. it They hold it every year. So it is the biggest in it's, North America. It's a really fun place to go. Yeah. It's and so Portland's a, a really nice city to visit too so yeah um 
you know, there's it's lots great. of lots of reasons to go and yeah, do that. Yeah, we're going there. a couple days early to a couple to days early. We have to leave around. on Sunday, Sunday morning. morning, so we can't really stay for the whole day Sunday. So we're so going we a little bit early. Concert to come back to. I know it's it's yeah. Uh, Pet Shop Boys New Order. Yes. Um, and and those tickets were bought a long time ago. So. And I have the time set times now. Oh, do you? So we're gonna just try and eke ourselves. Like just get there, back in time with. Border Excuse considerations me. as well. Yeah, that's but always a be, problem. Yeah. Now we'll okay. see how it is. I'll be on Thursday afternoon, so it should be taken care of that in television updates on Friday. I mean, we're in Thursday afternoon as well, and we'll be there to set up on Thursday. If you're there to set yeah. up, I can bring it to the setup of Atari Age. So. Yeah. One day I will come to Portland too. I am so jealous. <laughs> yes, definitely come. Well, it depends how far away you are. I mean, there's lots of other good retro conventions across the uh, the U.S. and the country, right, in different places. But so we'll likely be the last PRG you might able to attend, given the costs. Oh, oh no. costs are yeah. Costs keep going up too. I mean, hopefully they do. There'll be a suppression of kind of all the um, inflation. Yeah. ZPH has a booth. No, we don't. We don't no have anything booth. to sell. <laughs> I mean, we could broadcast from it. Yeah. But we just wander around and hang year. out and say we'll we usually hang leech, out around the Atari age. Leech off of Atari age yeah, for a little power. Bit. Yeah. That's uh, true. So we'll be doing the interviews at the Atari age booth like we yeah. did last year. Yeah. Um. I don't think we need a spot no. there, like a, because he wants to. Use, he's already allocated all his room. I don't I want to ask him to yeah. set aside a spot for us. Yeah. Um, but you know, might may, may be able to just like go in behind to sit down and do an interview. Yeah. We did stand up ones. They'll be like really short because there's gonna be tons of people yeah, there. Yeah, it's insane. It's so always. We're gonna very, do a bunch busy. of short interviews. I yeah. think this year. Yeah. Um, we found spots around too where we can just kind of set up like out in the hallway and stuff. To do yeah, that's not as good though. Oh no! I like the busyness and the Atari age banners oh, yeah. in the background and yeah. Al talking to people in the background. I mean, um, Friday nights, Friday evening is a good time to do stuff too. I mean, that whole section isn't open yet. That's the only thing. But um, yeah, so that's in the, that'd be the arcade is only open only there. The so we're gonna do all the interviews on Saturday. We'll figure it all out. Yeah. That's, it's after we look around for stuff. Yeah, I'm looking for um, an Atari. <laughs> 8-bit PAL system. PAL. Yeah. And apparently, you can use the same power supply for the PAL Atari 8-bit mm. uh, computers. I read that somewhere. It doesn't make any sense unless they accept 50 and 60 hertz. And But um, there's lots of alternatives that you can use for the power supply, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no live channel or live cam in Portland, is there? No. Um, we will be broadcasting something live mm. we will see the speeds last time i remember it was really bad mm. like the speeds i had to drop it down to like one kilobit per second we did like a, a little bit of 1, cell phone streaming and stuff yeah, like was, brief periods of time is very fine poor. but it's not because there's wi-fi it's expensive you have to pay for it too yeah and you share it with everyone it's yeah. like not for streaming no it's not meant for streaming no. i don't know if they supply or sell they might have higher level streaming? connections. I bet they charge an arm and a leg, but oh um, yeah, they charge for power there. So yeah, they all do. the booths, all the booths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, we may not stream. We may like just jump on really quick or something. But we're not. We just can't do a formal hi. stream. No. And we also can only bring a laptop, which also does not have the computing power to do what we're doing right now. Yeah. Well, this is this is quite a setup. So yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay. Um, enough the, enough on that enough on but I'm very technology. very much looking forward to it and meeting people on the on the Saturday night that's oh, yeah. gonna be fun um next show on Tuesday we have an exclusive world premiere of alien Holocaust uh, we're also gonna be playing a new oh. game top and Tom which is very challenging but very unique um, and probably one more game if I can find one uh, the show after that, we're going to be doing Atari 8-bit games, Dracula Story, Outrun, Skakatory. Yes, mm -hmm. that Outrun. Uh, and uh, still struggling with my links, Atari links, yeah. but we're kind of getting there. I Hopefully. don't know. Hopefully, yeah. It may not be good. I may oh, have no. to send it back. Oh, yeah, no. Running out of options. Oh, no. The links works, but the, um, the multi-cart... Uh, El Cheapo SD cart is not working. El Cheapo? For me. Yeah. The SD cart. Yeah. So I need that to play homebrew games because I need to load them on, oh, right? Oh, so it's the cart that's not working, not the SD cart. Yeah. It's the cart itself. Because this game, Batman, yeah. does work. 
So 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 normal game works. The normal games work. So okay. So there, there is hope that I, we can get this going. Like it might need just reprogramming or it's a power thing or something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so we'll see. Hopefully you can get that fixed sometime soon. Uh, yeah. But my Lynx is completely upgraded. It's got a new screen. Yeah, the Lynx it's itself oh. is fine. It's the the cart then that's the problem. You think? I don't know. Well, it could but, be. But other games are working on yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it could be a conflict between something on the yeah. Lynx and the El Cheapo. The one he sent worked for him. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We're we're getting through it. Um, uh, so I keep pushing the Atari Lynx special back a bit. Uh, we have a developer spotlight scheduled for Todd Fermansky, oh, nice. Revan Tooley, September Excellent. 30th. For Harpy's that Curse. That is a Friday. Nice. Uh, early Friday. for, And we have the exclusive world premiere of Harpy's Curse for him. Nice. And because it's developer spotlight, we're going to run through his full cat uh, catalog of games. Nice. Uh, mostly involving dragons. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's good to have a theme. It is. <laughs> And then uh, two shows after that, October 7th, we have the exclusive world premiere of Load Runner yeah. 2600. I'm excited for that. Uh, and a live interview with Dionoid, Dion Olsthorn. Nice. So we'll get to uh, experience Load Runner 2600. That'll nice. also be on sale at PRGE as awesome. well. So if you like what you see, you can pick it up. And then it'll be in the store in November, along with all the other stuff. Nice. And then we are at PRGE. Um, from the 14th to the 16th, uh, there's no show on the 12th because we have to get ready, get ready, and get, and get down going. There. Yeah, yeah. Um, then the uh, ZPH PRG meetup on the on the 15th. 15th, and then we'll be back on the Tuesday. Back on the Tuesday. Nice. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I guess we do have a show on the Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and then November 1st, we're and probably it's going to be split into two shows: the ABBUC 2022 entries. There's like 10 of them, so I think we do need to split it up. Okay. James, will I ever cover the Atari VCS? Uh, no, I will not. I don't have one. They're too <laughs> expensive to buy. And they're just a computer. <laughs> um, I don't know if they have exclusive games on there. Yeah. Um, I also don't have an Atari ST either. I'm just not interested in that. <laughs> so yeah, grabs popcorn. <laughs> it's, it's a computer. Um, I am pretty sure you can load their o OS and interface onto another computer. I see what you're saying. And, yeah. Like you could play their games on something else. Yeah. No yeah. ST. No, I'm just just too much to do. Get into ST. <laughs> um, plus, a lot of games are ported from the ST to the Jaguar anyway. Yeah. So you've got. The I'm more into there. consoles, but we've I've included the Atari 8-bit computer just because there's a lot of cool stuff for on that and a lot of development. It sounds like a lot of development. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not interested in the Atari VCS whatsoever. And I'm not even interested in any new consoles either. Yeah. We've uh, we've switched over to PC gaming through, uh, you know, Steam. And oh, yeah, for modern game systems. Yeah, yeah PS4, uh, I, I, Xbox 360. Nintendo is, is my holdout. Like, obviously, yeah. we have a Switch, and I would still be interested oh, yeah. in whatever future systems they have. Because it's unique. Yeah. It has a unique control system. They make different games. Very unique games. games. But I agree, like, between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, it seems like the PC libraries wins. are shared. Yeah, they're and, and all the PC shared. has has more flexibility. Or at least eventually shared, too. Yeah, yeah. And the PC can play all of them and at a better resolution, yeah. better yeah. frame rate, if you throw money at it, <laughs> which we did, so we have one. For now, yes. And, uh, <laughs> it's still and it, doing pretty good. Yep. Yep. I'm programming anyway. a game for the Atari VCS. Ah, oh, well, excellent. it doesn't mean we can't play it, but it just... Well, I don't know how easy it is to do that. Yeah? But, yeah, it's... It, we don't do that. We're, we're doing older systems. <laughs> so Fair we're enough. not playing new ones. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe on the After Dark, we'll do new games. Yeah. I'll run through all my limited run games at some point or something. Yeah. Yeah, the other VCS. Yeah, I hate... I really, really upset that they called it the VCS. Yeah. It adds confusion. So somebody searches yeah. for Atari VCS, it comes up with a new one. Yeah. That's not what it is. The old one's the VCS. And they also named them 800 and 400 too, didn't they? Yeah. Oh my God, it's crazy. Oh, using Linux, yeah. I thought Atari VCS was a sarcastic joke. It's literally the main point of the show. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> I think we went through all of the things coming up yeah. oh, that yeah. are scheduled. There's a bunch of things that are not scheduled. 
um, but are coming up as well. Yeah, it is super lame that they renamed it over that, about that. Okay, thank you for tuning in today mm -hmm. to all the fun games we had. Uh, Chalcedon and Mao, Neo Meteor 1974, RC7E, Thrust, uh, VHZC, thank you for making this awesome game and Very allowing good. us to play it on the show as an exclusive. <laughs> Remember, everybody, you can download it now. Go to the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan ABC, Master Kasai, Ivory Tower Collections, um, Splendid Nut, Neo Media. Who else? It's hard to tell because some people's colors are the same. I know, it's funny. It's it like, depends oh, on that? your. Yeah. Uh, Metal Lunar 7. Yes. A cardboard box. Yay. MU Dan. Uh, and everyone else who didn't chat but yeah. watched it. And everybody else in YouTube land as well. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Um, oh, also people in YouTube land. Um, do you like the timestamps that I do? Is it useful? Yeah. I think they are because I people jump to them. You yes. can see the spikes in viewership. On on what parts of it they're watching. Yeah, there's yeah. little little spikes, so they are using them, nice. so I'm guessing, yeah. Good stuff. Uh, oh, Harry Vancouver, BC. Hello, Harry. Hi. Long time no see. Um, and that is it, and we'll be back on Tuesday Yes. with Atari 2600 games, cool. including an exclusive world premiere of Alien Holocaust, and cool. there's a nice story behind that. There's okay. a short film... Uh, and I watched it the other day, and it's based on the short film. Nice. So, very, very cool. And so we will see you on Tuesday. Yes. So have a great weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.